Hello again, a little update here with the uh, Oldsmobile. As you can see, I have the intake manifold removed. Over here, I have my uh, rockers and push rods. They're oriented how they came out. Here's my lifters. In case you were wondering, something neat about this engine. In 85, they changed these to roller lifters, which is kind of neat. And back behind my intake here, that's the camshaft. That's what we were after. As you can see on some of these lobes, they're worn down pretty good. I ended up miking those lobes, and they're all out of spec, except for, I believe, this one right here on the back. This one's pretty close. But since they're all out of spec, this shaft has to be replaced. And uh, here's the engine with all that removed off of it. As you can see, I removed my distributor from the back as well. But this isn't just going to be a simple cam replacement. Um, unfortunately, these bearings, I kind of had a feeling these bearings were going to look like this after I started tearing into this engine. As you can see, this dark layer here goes all the way to about here. With this dark layer is, slu is, is sludge, and the reason that's formed is because this bearing, as you can see, has a bit of a copper tin on the bottom. What that copper tin is, that's the mid-layer of the bearing, because there's supposed to be a layer of babbit over this copper. And what happens is, over time, the uh, camshaft just kind of wears that babbit away and starts riding into the uh, copper down here. And whenever the camshaft gets pulled down a little bit, the uh, clearance is increased from this area around here to the camshaft itself. And it just kind of lets the oil lay in there, and it just ends up turning into sludge. But uh, you have to remove the uh, engine to replace those cam bearings. But uh, it's, it's not hard. All I really have left are my bell housing bolts. There's three on each side, I believe. Two towards the bottom and then one up on top on each side. I just have to remove those. That bolt there for the engine mount. And that other bolt there for that other mount. I already have my starter off. Uh, or you have the exhaust taken care of and my uh, torque converter bolts are out as well so it's just a matter of those fasteners this engine will be out um, these engines they're very cheap to rebuild uh, I believe around 360 or 380 dollars for a rebuild kit with new pistons new bearings oil pump pretty much everything you need really but uh I'm just going to end up go ahead and getting this removed and I'll make another video once I uh, get it on the stand and I'll begin the teardown of this engine. Alright, thank you for watching.